In this tutorial, we are going to walk you through how to add a medical record for a pet. There are two ways to add a medical record for a pet. The first way is by going into the pet section of your account, going to the actions menu next to the pet you want to add the medical record for, and clicking view medical records. Once on this page, you are able to click add new record, which will bring you to the page to add a medical record for this specific pet. The other way to add a medical record for a pet can be found under My Pets within the Medical Records Index. Within this section, you are able to see every single medical record you have entered for all of your pets. And you can even filter by pet name or by the vet name. Typing in Abby, as you can see, brings up all the medical records for Abby. To add a medical record, you can go to Actions and click Add Medical Record. Now the best thing about adding a medical record in this section is that you can add a record for multiple pets at the same time. For example, let's say you took many pets to get a rabies vaccine in the same day. Instead of having to enter in one medical record at a time, you can actually select all of the pets that received the medical record on this day and click Create Record. Once you do this, you will be brought to the same page you saw earlier to add the medical record information. Once you're on this page, you will notice a couple options. If you need to add a new vet to the system, you can always add a new vet here. Once you enter in the vet's information, the vet will actually appear in the drop down below where you enter in the actual medical record information. The vet will also appear in your contact section and it will be checked off as a veterinary contact. Once you select a vet, you are able to change the pets associated with the medical record, attach a paper copy of the medical record if you have one, and then you can select the type of record, the subtype, enter in any uh, the name of a vaccine or any medication given. So for example, I'm going to write in rabies shot. And one of the things our software allows you to do is actually tag different medications or vaccines that you enter. And to do this, you have to have the opening bracket and the close bracket around the text you enter. Once you do this, a pop-up will say, do you want to save rabies shot tag? Just click OK. And once you do that, rabies shot will now become a tagged item within your account. The next time you go to add a medical record, anytime you enter in the at sign and start typing, you will see that rabies shot appears in the list and you can scroll down, hit enter, and it will automatically be entered for you. Once you're done entering the description, record type, and subtype, you can now set a follow-up date. You can select the date the visit occurred, any comments, any additional notes, and at the bottom, you're actually able to set up a reminder. For example, if let's say you need to give another medication a couple days later, or there's a booster shot due in a couple months, you're able to actually enter in the email you want the reminder sent to, when that appointment is due, and how long, how many days or hours before this appointment do you want this email sent to the person who's going to be responsible for taking care of this. Once you enter the reminder, if you choose to do so, you then can click Save and Create New, and this will create the medical record and add it to the medical records index. We also will add the reminder to the reminders index here. Anytime you need to add an additional medical record reminder, you can click the Actions menu at the top and go to Set a Reminder. Once you select that, you can choose as many pets as you want to set the reminder for. So let's say five pets need a booster shot in a couple months. You can actually create it for all five of those pets. You can select the type. In this case, it's going to be a booster shot. It's going to be wellness vaccines, vaccine given. In the reminder description, we're going to enter in rabies booster shot. We're going to enter in the emails we want received. And at the bottom, you'll notice you have a couple options here. Uh, you have your single reminder, which is just a one-time reminder. You have your single repeating, which lets you select how many days this reminder is going to repeat. So if you have medication you have to give every day, you can actually set it to repeat every day, uh, once a day. Uh, and it will actually be sent every day to whoever you enter in this email. 
and then your multiple repeating uh, is basically you're going to select what day of the week uh, this reminder is going to be sent out and what it does is on every Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever day you select, it's going to send out the reminder to that person. Uh, to keep things simple for this tutorial, uh, we're just going to go with the single reminder. Uh, so to do that, you enter in the appointment time uh, over here. You enter in the appointment date here. You select how many hours before this uh, day and time you want this notification sent. It could even be sent days before. And then you click uh, update or save reminder and once that's done it will actually be added to the reminders index and you will be able to see the reminder due date when the reminder is going to be sent and the emails the reminder is going to be sent to along with the description this concludes the tutorial for adding a medical record and a reminder to the pet established system